Welcome Cancer 2024 February reading. You, this is Authentic Oracle and I'm gonna do your reading for you for the month of February. So before we begin, I'm gonna ask that we're surrounded by pure white light. I'm gonna ask your higher self to come forth today to give you the information that you need to hear for your highest good. So let's begin and see what's going on for you Cancer for the month of February. Okay. Here we go. Confidence, all right. Love that, good way to start off the month. Let's see, confident. Ooh, because you have a lot spinning around you this month, okay? So there's a whirlwind coming for the month of February and we'll see why, but you should know right off the bat that you will get through this because their confidence is around you. Also, you have wonderful guides around you. We'll see what's coming up for you. All right, this is about releasing some old stuff. All right, a lot going on for you. A lot of issues, um, this is talking about release. A lot of things that you need to let go of this month, okay? And sometimes in order for you to let go, um, you have to kind of be pushed to let go, okay? So in, the universe will sometimes throw things in your way um, to make you do things, okay? So that's what's gonna happen this month for you. There's gonna be a lot that you need to release. It's even almost like cleaning out your closets and getting rid of stuff. That's kind of stuff, like you really need to weed through some stuff. Um, Yes, definitely, the revelation. Let's see why that's coming through for you. Okay, so this is talking about, I got the revelation card and this bang your head against the wall. So it feels like, um, you know, I don't know if you've done your taxes yet, but it feels like <laughs> you need to go pull, be pulling out those papers just cause I see you like banging your head against the wall. Um, um, there will be validation. It will all go through, but it's almost like things got misplaced around you and things are kind of like, I feel like there's something around you in the environment that's kind of messy. I don't know if it's, uh, you know, um, that drawer in you know the living room or something where papers were kept um, or clothes were kept, but there's like, that's what's coming around you. And um, or it could be somebody you're with who just really is is not taking care of things and you're just you know, banging your head against the wall about it. And so there's a lot that's gonna to have to be released this month. It feels like things have to be talked about too. Let me see a little bit more about why this is coming up for you in February. Okay, so <laughs> the card is assumption. So you're assuming that people take care of things, okay? And they're like you. You think that they are, you know, organized or they're taking care of things. Um, and I wouldn't assume that. Okay, so this is you um, taking charge of it. Um, the, the grapes come in as far as, um, you know, being satisfied that things will work out. So if you have a little um, uh, glitch this month in regards to the way that you think things were handled um, by somebody else, uh, you might want to recheck that. Um, I want you to know it will run smoothly in the end as long as you get involved a bit and um, check on things, okay? You definitely need to, to double check things this month, okay? Yes, because the card that comes up is sabotage. And that doesn't mean that, you know, somebody initially is sabotaging stuff, but it means that um, it's almost like you need to pull those receipts out. Don't think that you can, I, I'm just, as an example of your taxes, don't think that you can just, you know, um, make up a number because it's sabotaging will hurt you. It really is saying do things by the book this month, okay, um, to avoid any anything um, going wrong, okay? So this is not saying it will, it's saying you need to take care of it so it doesn't, okay? Um, you are in control of your destiny. You know, you can always go left instead of right, and this is just giving you a heads up, okay? You have the confidence, you're smart, you know what to do this month, 
Okay, don't cut corners is what they're saying. Yes, absolutely. It's saying don't be naive. Okay, definitely, definitely. Okay, they are telling me don't be naive. You think that things are taken care of and they're not being taken care of this month. Okay, and this can pertain to a lot of things. It doesn't. I mean, I'm giving you an example of taxes, but it it's a lot of things. It could be. Um, you applied for a job and you thought that the, the, um, the application went through. It could be, you know, you had thought you lined up, um, you know, tickets to go see a concert and it, it didn't go through. So that's what it's talking about. You need to double recheck, recheck. Don't think somebody's taking care of something this month, especially if Valentine's Day, you made reservations at a restaurant and you think, or you think your, 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 your partner did and they may not have. Don't assume things this month. Don't be naive this month. It's being about double check, double check, oh, double check, okay? Um, otherwise, everything will run smoothly. Uh, let me just check one more card for you. Yes, um, the card says debt. So please make sure too, and this is gonna give you a heads up too, like if let's say you thought you made it, somebody made a credit card payment and they didn't, make sure they may have, may have not gotten through. Um, again, so there seems to be some kind of financial stuff going on. Just double check everything this month and make sure things go through, okay? Um, because you will be able to be ahead of it. Remember that you're confident, you're smart, and don't assume this month um, you will, do well if you, if this is, um, you know, um, the grapes of goodness and things like that. So you will do well this month if you make sure that you just double check things, okay? Don't assume. And I feel like it has a lot to do with some kind of like paperwork and online um, accounts, all right? So thank you so much for watching. Please like, uh, comment, let me know how it worked for you. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I do have daily YouTube shorts, so you can check those out. And on Sundays, there are weekly readings. So thank you so much for watching, and I do wish you a wonderful, wonderful February. Thank you so much.